Hey guys, what is up? So look, welcome to this video. It's about not being afraid to fail, which I think is something that we definitely face all the time. Definitely when we're first starting off and we're just trying to get into sales calls, we're trying to get into cold emailing, cold calling, talking to business owners, and then even with the project itself, just getting that mental thing where we can go ahead and take on these projects. So maybe it's your first project, maybe it's a big project, but you have this inner fear, this inner doubt that you're the person to do it, uh, or that you should even contact this business in the first place. So let's get right into it. Look, you know, with this channel, I got a lot of tutorials. I love the tutorials. I love helping you guys out, giving you specific advice. But a thing that I see all the time is people reach out to me and they watch the videos, they got a lot of value, but they're unsure of, you know, some exact little thing that they think they need to go ahead and take action. Now, I don't mind answering questions. I do it all the time on this channel, but a lot of the time I can clearly see that it isn't the little thing that's holding them back. It's fear, the fear of failure, the fear of doubt, of maybe making a mistake, of looking a little bit foolish, <clears throat> of rejection from a business owner, of um, a project going wrong, something like that. Now that is 100% normal. We all have this. Definitely in the beginning, I had a lot of that when I first started. Um, my advice is though, to just go ahead and take action regardless. You're never gonna have everything that you need. You're never going to have a project or a potential client that you wanna contact where you're 100% certain about everything. You know you can do it, you know they're suitable, you know they're gonna take on the project, you know the project is gonna go 100% well. That just doesn't happen. A big part of um, running a web design business is being okay with not having the initial solution in the beginning or not knowing everything that you need to know in the beginning, but relying on yourself to figure it out as you go along. Web design is creative problem solving. That's what we do for our clients. We go in, figure out what they need, and we come up with a solution. The same applies to us as a business. We have to accept that when we're trying to do things for a business, like land a client or take on a project or complete a project, <clears throat> we're not gonna have 100% of what we need either. And that includes sometimes confidence, and that includes sometimes all the skills and little things needed for that project. The cool thing is with web design, there's always a solution. There's always some way to make it work, to solve the problem, to help our customers and get them great results. There's great solutions out there for pretty much every sort of problem that's gonna arise. What you need though is that confidence that you're the person who can take on this challenge and you can figure it out. And even if you personally can't figure it out, you're always gonna have all these different solutions. You can post up here in the comments, you can get help, you can reach out to other web designers, you can post on different forms. Uh, if you get badly stuck, you can even outsource or you can hire someone on Upwork or wherever to help you out for a few hours. So there's always gonna be some way to make it work. What we need though is to just accept that for us personally, when it comes to our web design business, that we have to overcome this fear. So, you know, back to the tutorials on this channel, a lot of tutorials, that is fine. Prepare, have a game plan, watch those tutorials, get some good advice, but then go ahead and take action. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to uh, be 100% exactly certain in what you're doing. <clears throat> it's fine to reach out to business owners and have some fear, have some doubt, but take that action regardless. Get out there, contact these business owners. They're forgiving, they're not going to go uh, crazy on you if you don't know everything or if you mess up a sales pitch or if you did a bad phone call, you know, cold call or whatever, it's not gonna be that bad. Business owners are gonna forgive and forget very fast because they make mistakes all the time too and they know what it's like in the beginning of business to be in that place where you're, you know, an underdog or you're up and coming in your own business. So uh, don't feel like you need to know everything. In the beginning of my web design business, I made a ton of mistakes. Uh, I deleted one project alone. I deleted like six websites in 10 minutes uh, for a client and I didn't even know if they had a backup. Now, luckily they did, <laughs> but those are the sort of things that can happen when you're starting. Of course, you wanna avoid that stuff happening. Don't be reckless with other people's businesses, but at the same time, things happen and that's how you learn, that's how you progress. So in the beginning, you know, whatever stage you're at right now, there's that next level that you're trying to get to. If it's, you've never had a sale, you're trying to get that first sale. If you've had a few sales, maybe you're trying to get your first big sale. If you've had a few big sales, maybe you're trying to bring on a new staff member or you're trying to get an even higher um, sort of client or you're trying to offer new services, whatever it is, we're always gonna have that fear and doubt internally you know these voices are saying oh we got to prepare more we got to know more like uh we should have gone to design school we should have uh you know know all these coding languages whatever it is that isn't the case you don't need to know that stuff you don't need to have done that stuff you can figure it out as you go along clients are going to forgive you uh for little mistakes and it's going to work out just fine so my advice you know watch the tutorials 
other web design channels on here, obviously, hopefully my own channel as well. Get that good advice and then just go out there and put it into action. Whether it's just starting off with a really basic project and just getting some results for someone helping them in some way for their business, or whether it's just making that bigger sales call than you met before, reaching out to that bigger sort of client than you thought you could manage before, um, taking an action like going networking um, or you know doing a bunch of cold calls, maybe you've never done that before, whatever it is, give it a go. Don't be afraid to push your business forward and just feel confident in yourself that you'll be able to figure it out, that you're gonna mess up a little bit in the beginning, you're not gonna know everything, but that you're gonna give it your best shot and you're gonna figure it out as you go along. If you don't push yourself, to the place where you're making a couple of mistakes, that means you're staying way inside your safety zone and you're just not learning that much, you're not progressing and you're not gonna see any big gains in your business. You're never going to see rapid progress in how much you're charging or the amount of clients you're getting or the sort of work that you're doing, all those sort of things. So be willing to make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I'm sure you notice in these YouTube videos, I mess up some parts completely fine. It is what it is. But the thing is, I'm trying to get better. I'm putting in the work and I'm doing it, you know, consistently. Same for yourself. Get out there, engage with the market, contact business owners. Don't be afraid to fail and just be willing to make a few errors. If you had the best of intentions and you're trying your best, you're going to figure out a solution and the business owners are going to see that and they're going to be happy with that effort and you'll figure it out you'll get them results and that's how you move up very, very fast. So my advice, no matter what stage you're at, be willing to make some mistakes, push yourself beyond the point where you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable making cold calls, but you know that's how you need to grow your business, just start doing it, make it work, dial the phones, figure it out as you go along. If you need to do something else to grow your business, then do that. You guys know what you need to do because it's probably where you have the most fear right now. And that means that that's also the area with the most opportunity. So when you're scared to do something with your business, that's kind of like your internal self telling you, hey, this is what we need to do. But it's very easy for another part of our brain to shut that down and think, hey, no, let's take another course. Let's watch another YouTube video. Let's wait another week. But you're just stalling on your own business. You're stalling on your own progress. So when you have that fear, embrace it and just go straight towards that thing. If it's cold calling, go for it. If it's contacting business owners in person, go for it. If it's taking on a project or just your first project, uh, go for that as well. Do what it takes to move your business forwards, to grow and be willing again to just like make some mistakes, not have a 100% perfect the first time, but be willing to give it your best um, attempt and business owners are going to love that. That's what they need. They're not trying to get 100% perfect results. They're just trying to get better results than what they're getting right now. And I'm sure that you can get them better results if you put in the work and you just accept that there's going to be a few little mistakes here and there. So hope that makes sense. <clears throat> Any questions, let me know below. I feel like this was an important message. I got emails about this stuff all the time where people are looking for like small little things before they move ahead. And I don't mind answering questions, of course, but often it's just this fear that's holding them back. Maybe you feel like that as well. Uh, so go ahead, embrace the fear, embrace the fact that you're gonna make a few mistakes, get out there, make it work. I know you guys can do it. If you do need any help, of course, let me know below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I'm going to have a lot of more tutorials coming up, but this is just something that goes with the tutorials. You got to have this mindset where you trust yourself to figure it out and you always accept that you're never going to have 100% of what you feel like you need before you start any sort of project or before you start selling as well. So that's it for this video. Catch you in the next video.